San Jose is cleaning up, or are they? Why would this mess be left behind? Bad work, or doing what the boss says? You call this a cleanup? It looks more like a bomb went off. The Water District, the City of San Jose, and Caltrans are doing what they are told to do. Now, when you look at this video right here, this is a um, this is basically going down Stevens Creek. It turns into San Carlos. Uh, this is right before you get to downtown. Uh, we have Highway 87. Uh, the light rail kind of goes around the bend here, kind of uh, joins up with the regular railroad tracks uh, as far as going over towards the Campbell area. Uh, a couple of big tech companies over on the other side, a couple of uh, the really uh, notable ones. Um, you also have Adobe, which is on the other side of that big building you see right there. And what I'm trying to show is there was um, and I've seen it there for about the last three or four years. It was very hard to notice, but there was an encampment right here. And it is uh, Caltrans uh, state property right there, um, right on the side of the railroad tracks. And of course you go up to the side of the freeway. Um, this area here is just tore back. I mean, the fences are destroyed. There's a dog park that the city put in on the other side right there. Now I'm kind of walking along here, the streets are never cleaned, um, the light rail side railings are falling apart, there's lots of graffiti. Um, this area here has just been left to fall apart. Now this is over near where they're doing the, um, where Google is going to build their big mega campus. Now my concerns about this are when these sweeps are happening is that they're leaving almost 70% of the, the trash and garbage and it, you know a lot of it was structures of, of what a homeless person built as their their home as their encampment and so they go through there uh, they're basically the person or persons are grabbing their belongings and then they get out of there really fast and then basically they go through there they being the water district the city and they start uh, you know, taking those, that property, they're throwing it to the factory factory. So they take all the good stuff and then they leave what you're seeing in this video. Uh, this is happening at all the different encampments that were around. Um, this one here was, I mean, you could barely even see that it existed. Um, and I have other videos too where the whole thing is, is where did all these people go? This one was hit right around um, Thanksgiving. Uh, that was also a time where all the shelters were full. A lot of our overnight warming locations now are run off of a referral basis only. There was nowhere to go. So when you tear these places apart, you push more people out into neighborhoods and onto the streets. And another video that I have is basically where all these people are at now, basically dying underneath the bridge there as cars are driving by right near Adobe. Because A, there was no shelters, no places for them to go, there's no adequate services, there's no drug treatment, there's no mental health services. It's, it's, it's a joke in Santa Clara County. So we just keep kicking these people down the, down the curb. We kick them to the curb, sending them downhill. It's very sad. Uh, in this video here, you're seeing a lot of the fencing. Um, some of the stuff was to get in and out of these encampments. Now, I do understand this is a dog park. These are tax-paying citizens here in, in San Jose. They deserve to have, you know, their fences not torn apart. I, I, I get all that stuff. If we were providing adequate shelter and services for the people that have it the hardest, this would never even be an issue right here. The proper maintenance would be done. The bushes would be trimmed. The fences would be functioning properly. The sidewalks would be clean. And we would not have to deal with this. Why is this being done this way? Who is providing these marching orders to Caltrans, the city of San Jose, um, from the state? I mean, somebody is out there saying, hey, after we sweep these encampments, we're going to leave half of the trash and garbage and we're going to leave it so it just looks like a bomb went off. And these are not just isolated incidents. This is happening all across Santa Clara County right now. Uh, Caltrans really started hitting this up a couple of years ago when I noticed on the freeway. And it was just very sad because I know these are areas where people can't be living at, uh, but they were just scattering like cockroaches, nowhere to go. And they just kept trimming these trees, tearing them out. Uh, you would think before they'd uh, launch this massive assault on people that are suffering that they would provide uh, a place for them to go. Uh, 
something. So I hope you enjoy the video. This is pretty shocking, the mess and the garbage and everything like that. I'm sure they'll try to pass the buck. The city will say it's Caltrans' responsibility. Caltrans is his responsibility. Then there's the BTA track. So they're going to kick the uh, jurisdictional can. Um, rather than address the issue that they basically set a bomb off and just basically sent people in every which direction and they had nowhere to go. And, and around the time when this happened, um, there wasn't adequate uh, shelter for anybody and people did die on the streets. The temperature dropped really low. So again, enjoy the video. Thank you.
now in this portion of the video i've made my way across the street i'm still right there near where the light rail tracks are at i'm pretty much across from adobe right there we have a couple of the other tech companies that you saw in the background um you see a gentleman right there on the center divider island right here with the pillars for the freeway highway 87. um you're seeing different like kind of i call them like mini encampments in a way where people are staying um, now remember they just dismantled and just basically set a bomb off of that existing encampment there was one on the other side of the freeway directly across from adobe um, so they set that bomb off right there by ripping down trees and taking people's stuff throwing things everywhere uh, then at that point they've got to grab all their belongings they got to get to the closest city sidewalk in a way they can't get on private property in a way well they can they cannot and then where do they end up right here underneath the freeway uh, it does the same thing when it goes farther down over near adobe and it's just it, it it fuels a vicious cycle where nobody has a place to go at all uh, when this was recently done uh, this video was only filmed a couple of days ago, but when this was recently done, uh, with the notice that you see in the video from the uh, state, from Caltrans, for them to be removed, uh, there was no adequate shelter, there was no place for anybody to go, uh, there was referral only for the homeless shelters, and uh, yeah, so this is where everybody's stuff ends up, and then the same thing at this point, uh, they will reestablish camp, uh, they'll just tear it back apart, they'll send them in circles, and what happens a lot of times when you do build up some of these camps and things are going well, um, well as in, you know, you're able to survive, you're able to go to your appointment, you're able to function, um, that security helps out a lot, um, that stability. Uh, now, right now, I'm sure that other encampment was there for some time. Now, look at it now. Like you see, it's just chaos right now. You have this gentleman, he's just passed out, got urine bottles everywhere. Um, it's the end of the line. And from this point here, they start staggering farther into the, the more central downtown. And then where do they end up at? They end up at St. James Park and they've got nothing to lose at that point. The city, the county, uh, Caltrans, the water district, they've taken, taken, taken. And then what happens? You're just left to die at that point. So it's very sad. Uh, hope you uh, somewhat enjoyed the video. These are pretty shocking, but this is the truth. And this is what is going on on the streets of Silicon Valley and, and of course the city of San Jose. And this is right next to Adobe's corporate headquarters. Thank you. Most of these encampments right here are bare. I mean, they left all this, they took all the good stuff, they cut up all the tents, and, uh, you know, I don't know where all the people have gone. 
Um, a lot of times they scatter more out. Uh, they make their way back towards downtown, and everybody already knows how bad it is down there. So these are examples of what they do. Uh, they being the city and the water district, the county, they just send people, they knock them around like ping pong balls. It's very, very pathetic is what it is. That's probably a good way of putting it. And then right there, look what we got right there. We got Adobe right there in the background. Um, I got to remember what this other big tech company is right here. Uh, you know, these compounds, these tech compounds, they basically don't really leave. So they're their own little cities in a way. And look at right here with Adobe. We have people that are literally living in third world conditions oh, right across from their main entrance. And you would think that a company like this would be outraged. You think they would be putting pressure on the city, um, something, but it, it but it's just not happening. And and I think a lot of this was to lower property values down. They want this uh, the residents to see all this blight, all this trash, all these problems, and then they're just open arms. Bring Google in, clean this up. We don't want any of this stuff. Well, just like the garbage that's right here, when they came through and initially did these sweeps underneath 87, they've been doing them just constantly all the time anyway, they left all this garbage there. Because when I review a lot of the videos that I have, it's the same stuff. So why would you leave this all out here to look so bad for the public, okay? And when you get farther up in this video right here, when I walk farther down near 87, of course, more people have come back to some of these encampments but this was a pretty hefty one. There was a good 40 or 50 people living here many months back. And you can see what they do. They come through here like they blow the place up and then they leave all this trash and garbage and they leave everything over here. And you want to direct this towards the homeless people that are just surviving. But this was actually a pretty A-OK -okay encampment before. They didn't have a place to go. There was no shelter. There wasn't adequate services. So they had no other options. So that's why people start staying here. And this is the solution. This is the city solution. Just leave half the crap there. Just, you know, send people in circles, make their lives even harder. And, you know, just push them off till they're at the end of the line. Till they're at St. James Park, damn near dead. And that's, that's kind of what we want. I mean, it's pretty disgusting. And our county is excessively billing the mentally ill and homeless. So this is a big money maker. They make a lot of dough off of these people. And so it's a thesis. Um, services that are never really going to help, but they're going to put more money in the uh, bottom line of the uh, county. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, any feedbacks, uh, great. Uh, appreciate all the support. And the reason I'm doing a lot of these videos is to show uh, what's really going on in our streets. And don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't believe what the city and the county are telling you. These services are crap, and we're just leaving them to the So, this is the thing. So, thank you.